Okay, uh, about to do another quick video tutorial on setting up crates in Serato. I did a previous video on this subject and there were a few things that I did not touch on but again that was a beginner's basic video at that time so but these things I probably should have touched on but I didn't get a chance to touch on on that video and I got a lot of questions and responses to the video and I appreciate everybody who took time to watch the video and comment and respond uh, with me now, even if you didn't comment on the video, I do appreciate everyone who watched the video. Uh, but one of the questions that I was asked was, can you run Serato on a PC laptop or is it just for Mac? And the answer to that question is it can run on either one. Uh, if you have a MacBook, it can run on that as long as you have the correct operating system. Now, if you don't have the up-to-date operating system which is uh, OSX I believe it's 12 Sierra um, anything beyond um, Mavericks which is 10.95 uh, Mountain Lion may be the same too which is 10.8 I believe on the OSX you will have to download an older version of Serato DJ now, the thing with Serato DJ is Serato DJ itself is free to download. Both versions, Serato DJ and Serato DJ Intro, are both free to download. But Serato DJ will only be activated if you have a Serato enabled controller, one of the higher end controllers, or you have to buy Serato. They have. Um, I think it's like 160 or something, 129 or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it is right now. And they also have the 9.99 a month subscription, which um, that might work for certain people. I'm not sure, but and when it comes down to it, if you're paying basically ten dollars a month, 12 months out of the year, you do the math. You're spending 120 dollars on it anyway. So, but if you don't have 120 dollars to pay at that time it's understandable uh, sometimes they have sales and you might catch it half price for $65 so um, that might be better for you now Serato DJ intro is free regardless and as long as you have any Serato enabled controller such as the Mixtrack Pro um, the Denon controllers uh, any of the DDJ controllers or anything like that then Serato DJ will activate and open up both decks. As you can see, it's only one deck open here on this. And this is actually your screen that you would use to do all your analyzing and setting up crates and things of and, and that nature. So you don't need a controller. In fact, you have to have your controller or your hardware disconnected when you are doing this. Okay. So again, you can buy, you can get either version of Serato DJ. Or Serato DJ Intro. DJ Intro is the free one. Serato DJ has to be paid for. Again, they run on both Mac and Windows um, PCs. Windows operating system. Windows 7 and up. You can get just about any, all of the Serato versions. I think, uh, which version is this? Warp it, uh, 196 on Serato DJ. And if you're wondering, I just hit the setup button. I'll get into that probably on another video with uh, with all these setup items. Um, this item, this video here is uh, about setting up crates. There were a couple more things that I need to touch on on this one. Okay, again, just go to serato.com and you can download it there. If you have a controller, it'll walk you through everything. It'll um, ask you what controller you have. Um, and it'll make sure it lo loads all the drivers and everything that are necessary for you on there. So you just go to serato.com, set up an account, which is simple, just email and maybe some other little information. And just go in and download it. Oh, and if you don't, if you have operating systems that are with a MacBook that are older than uh, 10.8 Mavericks, uh, I mean 10.9 is Mavericks. Well, 10.8 I believe is Mountain Lion. 
if your operating system is older than that, then you have to go to Serato Archive, which you can Google that, and you'll have to download uh, earlier versions, which, again, I'll make a video regarding that. Okay. Now, getting into what we're doing here. I've already showed how to set up crates, um, so I won't get back into that. Now, I was asked, one of the questions that I was asked was how to set up sub crates. So, what I'm going to do here is just make a crate. So, we have another crate here. I'm not going to put anything in it, um, just, just for the purposes of the video. Uh, I don't really have to. Now, to make a sub crate, you see I just made that crate. All you do with a sub crate is take that crate and drag it to another crate. And now that crate is now part of this crate which you can click and it disappears and there's a little white arrow right there that I'm hitting on and that brings that crate down. See there's nothing in that crate and you have another sub crate. Now these can be useful for let's say um, let's say I titled this crate um, Hip Hop okay just for purposes of the video and now also in hip hop, uh, I want to have like uh, old school hip hop. And so I will make that as my sub crate school. And again, I can do it again. I can just make another crate. And the same thing, I can drag that crate into there. And now I have another sub crate. And then I could put new hip hop. And then I would just add whatever I'm going to add into there. And that's the, the one of the benefits of setting up sub crates. So you can have, like this photo here, this is just general music. And that's just what I titled it. Um, so again, I can break that down. You can, you can do it various different ways. You can do it by beats per minute. Uh, whatever you want to title it as. But that's how you do a sub crate. It's, um, not, you just simply um, take a crate and drag it. Now, deleting crates and sub crates, that was another question that I had. Again, just click on the crate, you would hit control and delete. Again, control, delete. Crate is deleted. Goes the same for song. If you want to delete, delete a song out of a crate, same thing. Click on the song, control, delete. And it's gone. And you can do it for multiple songs by uh, clicking on the song, just click on the song. Click, I can click multiple songs. By ho I'm holding down the control key and I'm clicking on multiple files. And just keep going down. Or if you want to just remove a lot of them at the same time, just hit shift and hit the mouse. And I didn't want to double -click, double click that. Now, what you just saw there, I'll get back into it in, in a minute or so. And then I can delete all the songs. I don't necessarily want to delete this these songs because I may use them again for the exercise class that I DJ for. So I don't want to delete those songs. Even if, but if I do, it doesn't really matter because I can put them back. But I, but for right now, I, just, I don't want to delete those. We we'll can delete that. So again, to delete a song or a crate or just about anything in Serato, you just hit Control and Delete. Okay, now another thing I want to talk about are smart crates. Now smart crates are exactly what they are. They're another, another form of a crate, but they can be set up totally different. And, and you might say, well, what's the difference in a smart crate and a sub crate? The biggest difference is the way that a smart crate, crate acts. Okay, so I'll add a, and I'll show you for example. So you see, and you add a sub crate by simply clicking on the blue box over here. And you see what opens up here. It says Smart Crate Rules. Now, what you want to do here is add a rule. Now, from adding rules, this is how you set up Smart Crate. You don't have to really set up anything in it. The Smart Crate actually adds songs based on the rule that you apply to it. So, as you see in this first box, here you can say, and you have your various different things, ways you can set up your uh, smart crate. You can set it up by album, artist, 
BPM, comment, composure, file name, genre, grouping, key, label, remixer, song, white label, and year. Which means, okay, right now, the way this is set, it's set up for added. Now over here you see it says before. And then you see it has a date. So anything that was added before May 11, 2017 would now move into this smart crate. So when I hit save here. And now this smart crate, you saw the you saw it real quick, it just populated right there. So now since all of this these songs were added before March, I mean May 11th, you see they're all in there. Okay, so then we're gonna set up another smart crate. We're gonna add another rule, and this time we're gonna say we're gonna line them up by beats per minute. Now you see another box called up greater to or greater than or equal to 100 beats per minute. Now you can set this at whatever you want to set it at. So just for the purpose of the video, I'll say everything that is greater than or equal to 95 beats per minute. Now you saw the first crate that we had here. Crate 1 is everything that was added to my Serato DJ before May 11th. Now this crate 2 is everything that is 95 beats per minute or greater. So you see the lowest beats per minute I have is 95 and the highest would be 155. Now this is good if you want to further break down your music and separate music by beats per minute, by artist, by the time, the uh, date that it was uh, inserted, by key, length of song, uh, whatever it is you want to set it up for. And this will actually do this. And the good thing about a smart crate is this will populate every time you add songs. So right now, if I was to add more music to this, it would automatically populate in this smart crate. I would never, it would automatically update it. I wouldn't have to change anything. I wouldn't have to go in and add anything as opposed to your sub crates. Your sub crate, you have to continue to update those and add more music or take music out as needed. But with the smart crate, it does that automatically. And hence the term smart crate. So these are really helpful in keeping your music even more organized. Again, I'll go over that again. You can add a smart crate. Just click on the blue button there. Make sure you have live updates um, checked here. And that is how you keep all your uh, everything um, updated and then match all the following rules now again if you uncheck that box and we're going to add a rule and we're going to go let's say artist and then it says contains um, so then we'll just say artist that contains um, I don't know I'll just uh, I'll just say just for the purpose of the video, Drake is just what came to mind. Let's see. So now you, you saw it real quick there, populate this crate. So any song that has Drake in the title or in the name will be in this crate. And as you can see, anything with Drake is in this crate. And as I said before, anything that I add to uh, my Serato library will automatically populate in this crate each time. And it's the same thing. If you want to delete it, control, delete. Control, delete. Control, delete. All those are gone. Okay. So I hope this helps someone out. And again, if you have any questions, you can just add them in the comments and I will respond as soon as possible. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make more videos. Again, I'm going to do a video on archives and get a little bit deeper into Serato as we go along but again these are for beginners and people who are just really getting started with Serato because they don't really give you any instructions with the program itself so a lot of these things I found out just over time and just from making mistakes and clicking around and 
just stumbling upon things. Uh, so I hope that this can help someone else and they don't have to do like I had to do in a, in a lot of situations. So again, thanks again. Hope you like the video. Uh, subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks.